Whether you know it or not, every time you open up a web browser, you're broadcasting your location to the entire web. But don't worry, keep watching and I'll show you a good way to keep yourself hidden. Back in the olden days of rotary phones and landlines, if you wanted to call someone, you first had to be assigned a phone number. This way you could call other people and people could call you. Each phone number had some type of area code that showed approximately where you were located. So if someone was well versed in area code locations, they could tell where you lived based on your phone number. In the same respect, before you can connect to the internet, your computer must first be assigned an IP address. It's like the internet's version of telephone numbers, but as the name implies, it functions more like an actual address, because it tells the exact location of your computer. That's the reason why you can't access Hulu if you live outside the US, and you can't access BBC's iPlayer if you live inside the US. What's worse is that if someone gets a hold of your IP address, they can find ways to hack and connect directly to your computer. If you don't want websites and potential hackers knowing your location, then one way to hide it is by using a proxy. A proxy is a method of filtering all of your internet traffic through a different IP address so that your real IP address is hidden. This way you can prevent your computer from being traced, and it's also a good method of accessing country specific sites without actually having to be in that country. There's multiple ways to set up a proxy. The easiest way is through proxy websites such as proxify.com or hidemyass.com. All you have to do is type in the website, click the button, and you can view that website without it knowing your IP address. But how do you know it's working? Well first you need to know what your real IP address is and to view it you can go to a site like whatismyipaddress.com and it will show you your current IP address as well as its location. Now you can visit the same site using hidemyass.com and you'll see that it shows a completely different IP address. This is the IP address that everyone else will see instead of your own. The advanced options even let you select between a few different countries, so if you've been wanting to sign up for a Google Voice account and you don't live inside the US, well here's your chance. Another option is by installing browser add-ons that let you switch between different proxies. A good Firefox add-on is called the horribly named Foxy Proxy, and a good one for Chrome is the equally horribly named Proxy Switchy both of which can be found in the descripty box below the video. Now for these to work you have to go to their options and enter in a proxy IP address to use. Where can you find some? Well again hidemyass.com is a good place to start. Just click on the IP port proxies tab and it will give you a list of IP addresses and ports that you can use. You can even filter them by country. Then just enter this information into the IP address and port settings and then set it to active. The last method of using a proxy is by downloading applications. Now if your goal is privacy and security then the Tor project is a must. You want to download the browser bundle and it's portable so you can extract it to a flash drive and use it anywhere. Just double click on start Tor browser and a portable version of Firefox will automatically start and is already configured for secure browsing. Nothing needs to be installed and it doesn't affect any other software that you have on your computer. If you're using a proxy to try and stream audio or video, you might have noticed that it's really, really slow. Well, the problem is that the more people you have connecting to one IP proxy, the slower it's going to be. And if it's free and publicly accessible, then you'd better believe that hundreds or thousands of people are using the same proxy. If you want a faster, more reliable proxy, then you'll probably have to pay for it. For streaming, one that's good that I've covered before is called IP Hider, which you can find here. If you know of any more good IP proxy solutions, let me know in the comments below. Alright, be sure to check out Tinkernut.com on Tumblr, Facebook, and Twitter. That's it for this tutorial. For more, go to Tinkernut.com.